Okay guys, so here we go. Let's solve this next one. So what we have is we have x minus 1. That was a bit funky. Let's try that again. Da, da, da. <clears throat> okay guys, uh, let's try this next one. So what we have is we have x minus 1 all over x plus 1 equals x plus 6. So at this point here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by that x plus 1. That will cancel out the x plus 1 on that side, leaving me x minus 1, and then I'll get x plus 6 all multiplied by x plus 1. Now here, I'm going to distribute out the uh, x plus 6, x plus 1, so I get x minus 1 equals x squared uh, plus x plus 6x plus 6. Now, simplifying that out a bit, I get x minus 1 equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now I'm going to move this x minus 1 over to the other side, so we'll get 0 equals x squared plus 7x, so that'll be plus 6x as I minus x, and then I add 1, which will give me plus 7. Now, looking at this, usually we'd factor this, but very unfortunately, this is not factorable. So since this isn't factorable, factorable, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn to our good old friend, the quadratic formula. So we get negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Good old quadratic formula never fails us. We see that a equals 1, b equals 6, and that c equals 7. So from here, I'm going to get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7. And then this is all going to be over 2 multiplied by 1. We then get negative 6 plus or minus the square root. 6 squared is 36. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28, so I get 36 minus 28, and that's all going to be over 2. This will then equal negative 6 plus or minus, and it's going to be the square root 36 minus 28 is 8 over 2. Reducing 8 gives me negative 6 plus or minus. 2 root 2 all over 2, and then dividing the entire top by 2, I get negative 3 plus or minus root 2. And that will be our answer. So we'll put a box around that bad boy right there. Moving on, we have x plus 3 over 2x minus 6 equals 2x minus x all over 3 minus x. Now, Looking at this, it doesn't look like we have anything in common in our denominators, but we actually do. So I'm going to shift some things around right here and slightly change what we have. I'm going to have the x plus 3, and I'm going to factor the 2 out of that, out of the denominator. Then this will equal 2x, and with that 3 minus x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a negative 1 out of that, which will give me the negative x minus 3. Now, you guys will notice I'm holding a negative sign in the denominator. That's not usually good practice. So I'm going to rewrite out that step. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift that negative sign up. So shifting that negative sign up, we will get this right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything through by my x minus 3. Yes, you could multiply everything through by 2x minus 3, but I'm just going to handle this one step at a time. 
So I get x plus 3 all over 2 equals 2x. Whoops, forgot the x right there. So that will equal 2x, x minus 3, plus x, because it will cancel. Now, and again, I know it's a bit laborious, but I'm going to do it anyways. I multiply everything through by the 2, clearing out my next fraction, which will give me x plus 3 equals 4x, x minus 3, all plus 2 x. At this point, I'm going to expand out my right-hand side. x plus 3 equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 2x. Then I'm going to move everything over to my right-hand side. Again, I'm moving it over to my right-hand side to keep that x squared positive. So I get 0 equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 2x, negative 10x, negative 10x minus x is minus 11x, and then that's going to be minus 3. Now what we notice right here is we're in a situation where we could handle this by the quadratic formula that we had before, or we could factor this by decomposition rather breaking up the middle term. So we're going to go a times c, or rather 4 times negative 3, and that equals negative 12. And then my b equals negative 11. So I want two numbers that multiply out to negative 12 and add up to negative 11. Well, those two numbers are going to be, da, 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 wait for it, wait for it. It's going to end up being negative 12 and positive From here, I bracket off my first two and bracket off my second two, factoring right afterwards. So I get 4x, x minus 3, plus x minus 3. And then from here, we factor the x minus 3 out, which would give me x minus 3, 4x plus 1 which will give me solutions of x equals 3, comma, negative 1 over 4. But wait, if we look back to the beginning, we see that x cannot equal 3. Uh-oh. So since that x cannot equal 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross that solution out, and we're going to stick with the fact that x equals negative 1 over 4. Now below here, you guys see some homework that you could give a try. I hope you've enjoyed the last part of the Rationals lessons.